Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between tall, snow-covered mountains, there lived a young girl named Lily. Winter had arrived, and the entire village was blanketed in a soft layer of snow. The air was crisp, and the sky was a serene shade of blue. Lily loved the snow. Every morning, she would bundle up in her warmest coat, scarf, and mittens and head outside to play. She would twirl and dance, creating a symphony of laughter that echoed through the quiet village. The snowflakes sparkled like tiny diamonds as they fell from the sky, covering the world in a magical, glistening carpet. One day, Lily had an idea. She decided to build a snowman in the village square. With the help of her friends, they rolled and stacked the snow, creating a jolly snowman with a carrot nose and coal eyes. They named him Frosty, and he became the talk of the village. As the days went by, the village transformed into a winter wonderland. The rooftops were draped in icicles, and the trees wore fluffy white coats. The children of the village engaged in epic snowball fights and sleigh races down the gentle slopes. Even the adults couldn't resist the allure of the snowy landscape, joining in the merriment. One evening, as the sun dipped below the mountains, casting a warm, pink glow over the snow-covered village, the villagers gathered around a bonfire. They shared stories, sipped on hot cocoa, and reveled in the beauty of the winter night. Lily looked around, her heart filled with gratitude for the joy that the snow had brought to their li lives. As winter continued, the village embraced the enchantment of the snow. Every snowflake seemed to carry a little bit of magic, turning ordinary moments into extraordinary memories. And so, the village lived happily ever after, cherishing each snowy day and looking forward to the next winter's tale. In the heart of the enchanted forest, where the trees stood tall and the animals roamed freely, there lived a curious young fox named Amber. The forest was usually lush and green, but one winter, something extraordinary happened, the snow fairies visited. Amber awoke one morning to find the entire forest blanketed in a soft, shimmering snow. The usually bustling sounds of the forest were muffled by the magical silence that only a snowy morning could bring. Intrigued, Amber decided to explore this winter wonderland. As she trotted through the snow-covered trees, Amber noticed the delicate footprints of the snow fairies. These fairies were known to bring joy and beauty wherever they went. With each step, they left behind a trail of glittering snowflakes, turning the forest into a sparkling masterpiece. Amber followed the trail, and soon, she discovered a clearing where the snow fairies were gathered. They danced gracefully in the air, leaving behind a trail of enchanting patterns. In the center of the clearing, there was a majestic snow tree, its branches adorned with glistening icicles and shimmering snowflakes. The snow fairies welcomed Amber with open arms, inviting her to join in their magical dance. As she twirled and leaped with the fairies, Amber felt a warmth in her heart. The snow wasn't just frozen water, it was a canvas for the fairies to paint their stories of win winter magic. Together, they decided to share the enchantment with the other inhabitants of the forest. The fairies sprinkled their magic on the animals, and soon, each creature had a sparkling snowflake pattern on its fur. The once quiet forest came alive with the laughter of animals playing in the snow. Word of the magical winter spread beyond the enchanted forest, reaching neighboring lands. People from nearby villages traveled to witness the extraordinary spectacle. The snow fairies, pleased to see their magic spreading joy far and wide, continued to dance and weave their enchantment. As winter drew to a close, the snow fairies bid farewell, promising to return the following year. The forest, now a haven of winter magic, remained a cherished memory for all who had experienced its wonder. And so, the legend of the enchanted forest and the snow fairies lived on, passed down through generations, ensuring that the magic of that winter would be remembered for years to come. In the small coastal town of Seabreeze, where the waves whispered secrets to the sandy shores, there lived a young girl named Marina. Seabreeze was known for its warm, sunny days and gentle sea breezes, but one winter, an unexpected event unfolded, a rare snowfall. Marina, who had never seen snow before, woke up to a world transformed. The familiar sandy beaches were now covered in a blanket of pristine white. Excitement bubbled within her as she rushed outside, her bare feet leaving imprints in the soft snow. The townsfolk were equally enchanted by the unusual sight. The fishing boats that usually bobbed in the harbor were now adorned with delicate icicles, and seagulls soared through the crisp, cold air. 
The entire town seemed to have stepped into a winter fairy tale, fairy tale. As Marina explored the snow-covered streets, she noticed something remarkable, the sea had frozen at the edges, creating a sparkling icy shoreline. Intrigued, she decided to venture out onto the frozen waves. With cautious steps, she glided across the icy surface, marveling at the frozen sea beneath her. Word of the snowy spectacle in Seabreeze spread quickly, reaching neighboring towns. Visitors arrived, eager to witness the unique blend of seaside charm and winter magic. The local businesses embraced the opportunity, setting up cozy beachside stalls offering hot cocoa and marshmallow roasting. Marina and her friends organized a snowman building competition on the beach. The townsfolk, usually accustomed to building sandcastles, now fashioned whimsical snow sculptures, transforming the shoreline into a gallery of frozen art. As the days passed, the temperature began to rise, and the snow started to melt. But the memories of Seabreeze's winter wonderland lingered. The townspeople, once strangers to snow, had forged a new connection with the season, appreciating its fleeting beauty. With the return of warmer weather, Seabreeze resumed its sunny, coastal charm. Yet, the townspeople cherished the winter they had experienced, looking forward to the next time the sea and snow would dance together. And so, Seabreeze's snowy interlude became a cherished tale, shared by generations, a reminder that even in the most unexpected moments, magic can find its way into the hearts of those willing to embrace it. In the heart of the vast Sahara Desert, where the sun painted the dunes in shades of gold, there lived a young nomad named Amina. Her tribe, accustomed to the scorching heat, had always known a desert that seemed unchanging. However, one winter, an extraordinary event unfolded, the desert bloom. It started, started with a subtle shift in the wind, carrying whispers of change across the dunes. Amina, captivated by the unusual breeze, noticed small green shoots sprouting from the seemingly lifeless sand. The nomads, wise in the ways of the desert, recognized this as a sign of the desert bloom, a phenomenon that occurred once in a generation. As days passed, the desert transformed. Vibrant wildflowers burst forth, creating a kaleidoscope of colors against the golden landscape. Amina, who had only known the desert's harshness, marveled at the beauty that emerged from the seemingly barren sands. The tribe gathered to celebrate this rare occurrence. They adorned their tents with blossoms, and a festive atmosphere filled the air. Amina, guided by an elder's wisdom, ventured into the blooming desert to collect flowers with healing properties, discovering the hidden treasures beneath the petals. News of the desert bloom spread beyond the tribe, reaching neighboring communities. Travelers crossed the endless dunes to witness the breathtaking transformation. The nomads, usually secluded in their desert world, welcomed visitors, sharing stories of resilience and the delicate balance of life in the arid expanse. As the desert bloomed, so did the spirit of unity among the tribes. They engaged in lively exchanges, sharing traditions, music, and dance. The desert bloom became a symbol of hope, a reminder that beauty could emerge from even the harshest conditions. Amina, inspired by the newfound vibrancy of her surroundings, composed songs that echoed through the dunes, capturing the essence of the desert bloom. Her melodic tunes traveled on the wind, spreading the tale of the extraordinary winter across the desert. As the season shifted and the temperatures began to rise, the flowers gracefully wilted, leaving behind a carpet of petals. The nomads, grateful for the fleeting beauty, bid farewell to the blooming desert, knowing that its magic would be etched in their memories for forever. And so, the story of the desert bloom became a cherished legend, passed down through generations. Amina, now an elder herself, would recount the tale to the younger nomads, a testament to the resilience of nature and the enduring beauty that could arise from the most unexpected places. In the quaint town of Harmonyville, nestled between rolling hills and meandering streams, there lived a young artist named Oliver. Harmonyville was known for its vibrant community and the annual Harmony Festival, a celebration of art, music, and unity. However, one year, a mysterious event unfolded, the melody of the seasons. It all began on a crisp autumn morning when Oliver woke to the sound of a gentle melody drifting through his window. Intrigued, he followed the enchanting tune to the heart of Harmony Park, where he discovered a mystical tree with branches adorned in hues that mirrored the changing seasons. The townsfolk soon learned that the tree, known as the Melody Tree, had the extraordinary ability to produce music that resonated with the current season. As autumn leaves fell, 
the tree played a melancholic melody, capturing the essence of the changing landscape. Winter brought a delicate tune that echoed the soft fall of snowflakes, while spring's arrival was heralded by a lively symphony of birdsong. Oliver, inspired by the melody tree, decided to create a series of paintings that captured the essence of each season's melody. His artwork became a sensation, drawing visitors from neighboring towns to experience the unique harmony of nature and music in Harmonyville. As the years passed, the melody tree became the centerpiece of the annual Harmony Festival. Musicians, artists, and performers from far and wide gathered to collaborate with the mystical tree, creating immersive experiences that blended art and nature. The festival transformed into a celebration of the interconnectedness between the town and the melody tree. tree. Harmonyville's residents embraced the melody of the seasons, incorporating its influence into their daily lives. The town square, once a quiet space, became a hub of artistic expression, with impromptu performances inspired by the ever-changing melodies of the melody tree. Uh